Red Robin. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You guys, I'm really disappointed. She's disappointed in me. I'm not disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in Red Robert. Let me tell you why. I talked so much shit about how good this food was the first time that I came here. Because I never had Red Robin until like a month ago. And I was like, you gotta go, it's so good. So I took him to Red Robin today. It's not giving. I haven't even finished my food. What do you think? It's not. I mean, it's not. It's like. It's not bad. The bun was greasy, the burger was somehow oily and dry at the same time. You guys, I'm really, really, really disappointed. <sighs> they played in my face. Thank you. Why? You come right in front of that old white lady. Come right in front of who? You opened the door for me, not yeah, for her. That old white lady. I don't give a fuck. So we're looking for a little speaker. That was a fail. Mission failed. Didn't find the speaker, so we're gonna go see if Walmart has them. Get in the car, sit down. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Too late, I already did. Hold your hand up with your thumb. <laughs> what? You're doing it. Doing what? Holding your hand up with your thumb. I'm not holding my hand up with my thumb. What's this? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you want to say what you're not doing again? <laughs> I didn't even think about the this. The what? what? Not that was caught on camera. The cheese. Wow. Jeez. This fucked up. Yogurt. What'd you say? You still have yogurt that you have not eaten. I'm glad you fixed that. That's what I said. You said Aiden. No, I didn't. You said Aiden. We can play it back, bitch. We can't, actually, because I literally just stop the video after I said yogurt and you said Aiden so if you stop the video why the fuck are you still holding that like that cause I started it back up again <laughs> cause I'm a sneaky little chicken oh yeah her meal was called cluck and fries <laughs> clucks and fries oh that would have been cooler if they said cluck and fries Mm hmm. Clucking fries. Mother clucking. What if I just parked right here? Will they even know? Yes. We made it to Walmart. Because the dollar store let us down. And I'm fucking stuffed to the max. What? I saw a cowboy bebop hat. My fucking stomach is fucking killing me. <sighs> I'm just trying to have like a really big fart. Oh yeah, I've been farting like the oh, whole like time. Really we shit. walked in here. I'll let you guys know if you find success. I got the box. We got the speaker. Sometimes I think you were really underprivileged compared to what you really were. Because I know you had an education. <laughs> I know you didn't grow poor. <laughs> we got the books. We got the books. We got it. 
Diggy diggy diggy. Which ones? These ones. Let's show them. Surf. On. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> 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 no, no, don't abuse me. I'm your wife. Oh, okay. I'll take that abuse. I know we need courage. Leave me alone. Yes. We need curtains. Also, we got these right here. I gotta have my baby Yoda. And then. Gotta have my baby Yoda. And then that guy, which is upside down, but. Oh this guy. The DC guys. Oh. They're upside down. Oh, we got that. The little baby. Damn. Look at the little baby. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. You're so precious. You're so precious. Mm, I want him. He's so cute. Oh, dang. Uh, good morning. So, I'm sick. I've been sick for like the last two days, which it kind of just... <coughs> It kind of just sprung out of nowhere, like legitimately out of nowhere. And Sunday and Monday, I was going through it. Like Saturday, I was like perfectly fine during the day. And then right around like, I guess like nighttime, I guess, like I started getting like a runny nose and I was like oh allergies haven't got me in a while like I'm thinking it's just allergies babe and then I wake up Sunday morning and I'm like what's happening <coughs> and I was like hot and cold I couldn't taste anything I couldn't smell anything and I'm like do I cough and then yesterday, like, I was just thinking, like, okay, maybe I just have, like, a 24-hour, like, bug or something. Because how can this just happen that fucking fast? And then um, yesterday, which was Monday, I just laid in bed all fucking day long. Hubster stayed home with me and made me food and watched, <coughs> and watched TV with me all day. So now we're here at CVS picking up a rapid test. So we're gonna take this rapid fucking test and see how or what is going on. <laughs> 15 seconds, oh. East Nashville. <laughs> Uh, you gotta go deep. Like I do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Oh. Hold up. You guys, I'm going through it. So, <coughs> I decided I was going to start documenting how, <coughs> how I've been feeling after yesterday.
when we went to get a COVID test, the rapid test. They came out positive. I don't know why, but it was like after knowing that I have COVID, it was like, you know, one of those things where it's like, oh, (coughs) your mind like makes things worse or whatever. That's what I feel like happened because it was, it was like, yeah, I was coughing. Yeah, my chest hurt. Yeah, my head was hurting. But I still felt like me, if that makes any sense. Like, even without being able to taste or smell, I still felt like me. And it was like, knowing that I had COVID, all of a sudden, it was like everything in my body decided to start shutting down. And when I got home, it was like everything just got worse. I don't know. And I don't ever want to go through this again. This is not a fun experience at all. (coughs) Hey guys, so today um, is day four and I am feeling a lot better. Um, My chest still feels heavy, but it doesn't feel as caved in (coughs) as it did yesterday. Yesterday, it literally felt like, I don't even know how to explain it, to be honest, but it didn't feel fucking good. Like, I could say it felt like an elephant was stomping on my chest, but I don't know what that feels like. And I never want to. Um, But what I've been doing, or all I've been doing really, is drinking smoothies. It's the only thing that I can, like, drink, eat (laughs) right now. And I can't taste it. Or smell it, which is annoying because I absolutely love fucking smoothies. But it's better to me than like, I guess like chewing food because that kind of was like hurting in a weird way. But drinking is a lot better. And on top of that, like food food, I would be really, really, really upset if I couldn't taste food. So I'm, I'm avoiding that but smoothies have been what i've been really just like into right now because it does feel really soothing going down it's creamy and it's soft and it's cold and that just feels really really good and i will say that that's been giving me a lot more energy too like i didn't feel like i could get out of the bed yesterday and Today, I can move around, which makes me happy. So, (coughs) God, I look like ass. Um, Yeah, so, I never, ever want to go through this again. Like, ever. (laughs) Like, anybody that's had COVID, like, especially the people that's had it worse than this, and unfortunately for the people who have died from this shit, I... I can't even imagine. Even... 
And even though I'm so grateful that mine isn't worse, that I'm not in a ventilator somewhere in the hospital, um, the shit is not easy breezy at all. Like, especially, like, if you have, like, symptoms and shit like that, mm-mm, it's for the birds. And I'm not a person that likes to be sick anyways because I don't like not being in control of my body, but I oddly feel like this is God's weird way of forcing me to be healthier, to treat my body nicer, to treat my mind and my soul and everything a lot nicer, be more gentle on myself and be more, I guess, observant of what I'm putting in my body and not saying that only unhealthy, <laughs> only unhealthy people get COVID because some pretty healthy motherfuckers have gotten COVID and I'm not going to get, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not because I could go and you guys know I like to talk, but for me personally, I feel like with me, like going on this new journey in my life and, you know, my health kick and everything that I'm like gradually doing things, trying to let things take as long as possible, I guess, like with my time. And I think it's just, I'm like easing my way into it and I don't need to be like, I don't have to be. I don't know why I'm like holding myself back like that, but then I got COVID. And yesterday and today have been the first two days that I've started drinking smoothies and I feel so much better uh, that I'm doing that and I'm taking medication and shit like that. So it's not just smoothies, but I'm not taking anything heavy because I don't like medication. I don't like medicating myself. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like natural things are so much better to do with your body. I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update today because I don't know how long this energy is going to last. And like yesterday, I tried to film, like yesterday morning, I tried to film. And then like after that, I just rolled over and went to bed. I went right back to sleep and didn't wake up again until like three or four o'clock in the afternoon. And I was just really miserable all day. Uh... But today I woke up like a spring fucking chicken and <coughs> coughing out my lungs. But at least I was able to get out of bed today and move around and wash my fucking ass. So that was good. It was nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish my smoothie and I'm gonna watch some bad TV and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. I don't know.